I performed better. When I had the best relationships with my family and friends and my people in my professional network, I performed better. Once I had a good handle on my own internal well-being, I performed better as an entrepreneur. Looking for the formula in Richard Branson, looking for the formula in Lord Sugar, looking for the formula in Jay-Z and all these guys. And I thought to myself, no, maybe there's a formula for me. Maybe there's something which works well for me. And that's when I came up with the idea of the Ultra Academy. And there's one thing that I want to tell you that a lot of people don't tell you. In order to be successful in business, you need to be a little bit crazy, okay? A lot of people won't tell you that, and you'll go to all these lovely entrepreneurial meetings, people go, it's really nice, and then they'll show you the person who made six million and turning around a billion dollar company. And I'm going to tell you now, you've got to be a bit crazy. And those guys who make the billion and billions of millions, okay, they tend to be the exceptions to the rule. If you want to make 50 grand a year, that's fine. If you want to be a solopreneur, or whatever they call the kind of phrases they give these days, if you want to be on your own, that's fine. Whatever you want to do, just have enough confidence in being who you are. So I'm going to give you four tips. Write it down now. So just in case you have narcolepsy and fall asleep really quickly, let me give you a quick summary. Here's the first one. You've got to be confident in yourself. Secondly, you've got to be confident in your product or service. Thirdly, you've got to be confident in your people who are around you. And fourthly, you've got to be confident in your success. If you're good at what you do, hold your value. Own your value. Be confident enough that your product is enough to take you to the next place. I'll give you an example. So I went and I spoke for uh, an event with my friend. I said, look, you're a good friend of mine. I know you're doing this thing. Don't go and tell anybody that I'm doing this for free. She went and told a couple of people, oh, Dave, you come, David, up. you did it for me for free. And I found myself, why are you telling them that? Yeah. And they called me and they said, oh, I heard you can do it for me for free because you did it for my friend. And I said, no, I didn't, because you're my friend. You ain't my friend. Isn't it? <laughs> this is how much it costs. So I'm saying to you, be very, 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 be very um, own and be very confident about your product. Because if you're confident about your product, people will buy into you. If you're not confident, why should anybody come to you for this others? You've been working a lot behind the scenes, and um, how's today going? Is it going smoothly or is it a bit...? It's been a bit hectic actually, to tell you the truth. Uh, we had a lot of things um, at last minute changes, but we managed to get there. It's been quite even levelled and um, successful. It's been a great day. Yeah. You know, everybody wants a hoodie, you're the first one to have one. I'm not kidding, everybody wants a hoodie. You're the only one. I, even I haven't got one. Oh, right. Yeah, so you're lucky, man, you're lucky. Envious. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
Yeah. Julian, how are you doing? Hi, I'm very well, this, very well. This is your big day, yeah? Yep. Okay, so what's gonna well, actually, no, 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 it's not my big day. Nearly your day. It's the team's big day. Oh. And it's a big day for the Ultra Academy and the Ultra Kids. <laughs> 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 yeah, I'm filming you. I'm you filming me? Yeah, like what? Like, tell me about who are you? Who's everyone? We are entrepreneur representatives. Out here We're here working, event. supporting Mr. Hall. Yeah, yeah. the biggest entrepreneur, Mr. Yeah. Superman. Supporting my dad, obviously, I'm known as Shaman Hall. Ultraman. And we just run the um, ultra fit side of it. We're personal trainers. There's four sectors. Yeah. And obviously, fitness is one of them. And me and a couple of other associates, we run that. And if we can call us up, we've got personal trainers, we can get you sorted out. Nice, healthy, well, it's living in it. Okay. Yeah, so we're going on in a few hours. So we've got. Some speakers on right now, um, uh, some entrepreneurs, Shazia Saleem, um, Dave McQueen and George Johnson talking about their story, their entrepreneurial story um, and really inspiring uh, you know, the audience. Uh, then we're going to have a book signing um, after lunch and at the moment at the, on the Incubus just around the corner we've got speed coaching on the areas of finance, intellectual property, business and investment and marketing as well. And then later on um, we're going to have after lunch uh, a pitching for investment um, session. So we're going to have four startups pitching their hearts out for investment from a panel of uh, four investors. And then after that is when I'll be unveiling the Ultra Academy and the Ultra Kids Club. Hey, what's your name? What's your name? Me, I'm Ibrahim. I'm Titch. I'm Shalmi. I'm Kevin. I'm Michael. Okay, so is everything going smoothly at the moment? No, it's not. It's not. <laughs> You're on but man. You're but on just man. like just like any startup, ask anyone who started a business, right? Yeah. Things never run smoothly, but it's not what happens, it's how you respond to what happens. That's the important thing. So as a result, things aren't going according to plan, but they're going great at the same time. In five years time, you want to see progress. You know, I want to be laying on the beach in Hawaii, maybe in the next five years, for <laughs> six months without any pressure. And I think when you look at it from that perspective, you have to start thinking about how do I gradually build myself so that I enjoy my life at the same time because it is a lonely world and you can get so engrossed that you just don't see what's going on around you but I think for me because I had kids at the time and as a woman I couldn't leave my kids you know when it got to a certain time I was like oh my god I need to go home because kids need to eat so I think you need to really work hard and get the balance right and also enjoy work enjoy your social life enjoy family and appreciate everything you know, everything around this is the launch of Ultra Academy and Ultra Academy, it's, it's, a, it's Julian Paul's concept which is an all-night tool for holistic development for entrepreneurs. If you're not good at managing your personal money, you are not going to manage the finances in your business. I'm going to tell you that to your face, I'm going to look you right in your eye. If you cannot manage your own personal money, if you're paying your credit card bill late, if you're not paying, keeping up the payments on your mortgage, if you are in debt, you are not going to manage your business properly. I will tell you that and look you in your face. So tenacity, very important, ambition, and that sounds obvious, but actually one thing we see in, uh, because we fund maybe 15, 20 startups a week sometimes, is someone who wants to do something, but the ambition to make that into something that is successful and has the potential is quite often very capped. And ambition is very important because ambition is, is what takes you to the next level. How large is your team or how large, do you even know how large your team is? I don't. The team keeps growing. Right now there's probably 30 people right now on the team, you know, between the Ultra Kids Club and the Ultra Academy helping me to pull this all together, so I'm blessed. One of the biggest uh, pitfalls we see with a lot of entrepreneurs, especially young entrepreneurs, is that um, they think that they've, they've, they've got it. They've got a great idea, they know what it's about, they're going to be successful. But actually, it takes a lot to take an idea and make it into something that develops into whether it's an MVP or a proof of concept. And then it takes a lot more to grow that into a business that can sustain itself. And one of the things you, you need to understand is what you don't know, because then you can look at beginning to surround yourself with the right people, developing the right skills, and sort of thinking outside the box. Well, I know Julian through Belinda. Okay. Um, and she has just sold me a vision about this app and um, its role in developing not just your business side or your personal development side, but kind of like the holistic impact of the app. Um, and that's why I'm here. I'm really excited to find out uh, more about it. Um, it's been a little bit mysterious, some of it. And um, it's a pleasure, absolute pleasure, to be working on the project and to be welcoming people. Don't be scared to step out of that comfort zone because when you do step out of that comfort zone, that's when you're going to experience changes 
and you're going to experience a new way of being and living and it's exciting. Would you recommend just literally quitting and doing what you love or would you say be sensible about it? Because I remember when I was at that stage where I was like, I've lost all passion for coming into the office. Should I just completely let go or should I be sensible, work on my side hustle and then take that leap? Because I don't want people to just literally hand in their resignation this afternoon. So, yeah. I think it's, um, I've, I've never had a job so I never really know what it's like. But I think the best element is doing it when you're young because you don't have the stresses of having a mortgage and kids and other kind of things that you have to pay for and be an adult and have responsibilities for. So when you're young, you kind of bulletproof to failure. Well, the way that I look at it, yeah, I own my own property and I own a couple of other properties, but if it all went wrong for me, I'd go and live back at home with my mum and dad and start again. Yeah, so I'd definitely say planning, having an A plan and a Z plan, because things always happen, so planning is definitely one. And I'd say make sure that you hang around with the right people, the circle that you keep, quite important especially when you're in your darkest moments because you will have darkest moments but it's who you speak to who you can trust and at the same time they can also help you and, and, and lift you up in those dark times. I, I'm going to die one day so I just have fun doing what I'm doing so at the end of the day I hate seeing on a Sunday night people on Facebook and I can't be bothered to go to work tomorrow and then on a Friday they're like, yes, it's the weekend. Yeah. Like, you're living for five, you're living for two days of your seven. You're living for about 20% of your whole entire life because the rest of it, you're putting money in somebody else's pocket, being told what to do by somebody that you most majority of the time dislike. So if you really hate your job that much, I don't care about your mortgage, quit your job and just go and follow your passion. <laughs> <laughs> so just really quickly guys. Yeah I, yeah, I feel like I should somewhat temper that. You know, different people's situations are going to be really different. Make a plan. If you can live without a salary for six months, that'll help you just to reinvest in the business. And um, you know, get a good support network around you. Get your, your mentor, get your first few customers. Equity-based crowdfunding is a great way to get um, a perspective on what you're doing, what your pitch is. And if you, if you can't do that, equity crowdfunding is great. If you've not seen sites like um, Crowdcube or Cedars, then I really recommend it. The government is doing a lot to support um, like equity-based investments with tax incentives. So, and it's a great way to get uh, like a, a, a reality check on whatever is your proposition is. Also, your crowd that does support you can become your customers uh, and other participants, stakeholders in the business. So that's why I recommend it's a good place to start. Hi, we're at Google Campus, we're at the Ultra Academy launch. I'm just setting up the free green smoothies um, while everyone comes so everyone can get a free green smoothie and then later on I'm going to be doing a workshop on the bus on how entrepreneurs can use their food to become more successful. So it's going to be a good day. I think what makes the Ultra Academy stand out is the fact that you actually give people the tools to make these changes. So people walk out and they're equipped to make changes in their lives, which is brilliant. So I wanted to bring in well with a lot of you. <laughs> oh, blimey. Um, so I wanted to put everyone on stage just so you could see what it took me to make this happen, what it took to make the Ultra Academy happen, what it took to make the Ultra Kids Club happen, what it took to make today happen. So because one of my bugbears is seeing entrepreneurs up on stage or on TV and you see them accomplish some amazing things, right? Some things that are awe-inspiring and we look up to them. But we don't know what's going on behind the scenes. And we try and do what they've done, and I know because I've done this for a lot for many years, you try and do what they've done on your own, right? Because you don't see what's going on behind the scenes. And you burn out, you, you know, um, you, lose, you lose faith in what you're doing, you know, um, you just become, some people become depressed, become unhealthy, um, and you know, essentially you don't really, you don't get to that goal. So I just wanted to give you guys, a, you know, just a snapshot of the people who have helped me to make this happen. And I wanted to just give them a really big round of applause.